Hi, I'm Chris Thompson from Investor Intel, and today we're with Robert Vallis, the CEO from Signature Resources, ticker symbol SGU on the TSX Venture Exchange. How are you today, Robert? I'm fine, thank you, Chris. Uh, we're here to talk about uh, your, your, your company and your, your projects, and I must admit to everybody, I, I am a shareholder, a uh, big fan of the company. Um, uh, I like your, the fact you were in a great address uh, in the Red Lake District of Northwest Ontario. Uh, you've got some historical resources, so you know that you are uh, in a, an historic mine, always a good place to be looking for uh, more gold. Um, and you've been uh, drilling uh, and, and getting some pretty good results that you just announced. So why don't we uh, we'll start there with your latest uh, results? Thanks, Chris. Yeah, we've had some uh, really good results come out uh, indicating, you know, depth extensions of the existing mineralized zones you just spoke of. Uh, that is what we're focused on now. We are now finally and newly positioned with our own uh, two drill rigs, crews and, and supplies to uh, to uh, continue on this 10,000 meter campaign. We're doing extending the mineralization to depth as well as uh, extend the footprint of that uh, in all directions, east, west, north and south. Uh, we do have and have released recently a significant amount of, of the geophysics uh, that we've completed indicating that we've got certainly a much larger footprint and we're beginning to focus uh, our drilling on those areas. Yeah, and the, the results you hit, you had some pretty good uh, grades there. I, I think you had, uh, um, you know, some uh, six meters with, uh, you know, some five or six grams per ton, uh, which right. is good. And, and that's uh, somewhat similar to the existing historical resource. So uh, what is that resource right now? That re historical resource, uh, we, you know, we continue to work on moving that into a 43-101 compliance as mm -hmm. a foundation for what we're adding to and growing. Uh, that right now is about 234,000 ounces, just under seven grams. Mm -hmm. um, so a, a, a strong uh, showing in that resource is directly from surface, only down to and delineated to 180 meters depth. So uh, it's an indication of the richness of the system, for sure. The, and you released uh, in September that uh, some of the geophysics were indicating that maybe you had uh, six other sort of zones you were looking at. Uh, what was the interpretation on those results? Oh, well, that, those are the areas we're going to be moving into around uh, early to mid-November with our drilling. Uh, uh, once we complete more of the, the deep extension drilling to the existing zones. Uh, but these zones, uh, these areas, these target areas you speak of that, that we've put out, are uh, indicating uh, certainly strong potential that the existing zones continue well to the east, but also we have new zones that are continuing north and south from those existing zones. So the footprint of, of that mineralization, as I mentioned earlier, is much larger than, uh, than first anticipated, as well towards the west, which is also a chief focus of ours. The mineralization we know is, is moving towards the northwest, so that's another area that the geophysics is, is favoring us to continue expanding as well. And you mentioned that you'll be drilling into November. Uh, what sort of drilling can you do uh, sort of starting at the towards the end of the year or next year What, uh, what and, and well, infrastructure I, access? As I mentioned, we've uh, embarked on in mid-September a 10,000 meter drill program. That's what we're in the middle of. Uh, and of course, we'll be as I said, continuing to depth, but also moving to these new targets throughout this campaign. That'll take us into er, early in the new year. Yeah. Um, and the, the size of the project itself, uh, it's, a, it's a fairly large land package. Uh, what, what is the, the, the total size for investors who may not know much about the, the project? This is an incredible land package. It, it encompasses nearly 90% of the entire uh, Greenstone Belt that we reside in, that, that geologic environment, the Lingman Lake Greenstone Belt. It's just under 300 square kilometers, uh, over 32 kilometers east-west strike length. It's a, it's a significant package. Um, we've recently run airborne geophysics uh, on that entire updated and expanded uh, land package now which uh, we'll be releasing soon within the next week or two. Uh, that certainly is indicating that we have a massive potential for uh, additional discoveries within our, our land package. And that's the other side of the coin and effort that we're working on is advancing that regional uh, discovery potential to, to, towards new discovery. Uh, either way, we're fully funded to, to do both into the new year. 
And, uh, and certainly that's, that's our focus in terms of a two pronged approach to, to bringing uh, significant and rapid value to, to our shareholders. Yeah. And, and, and for investors who don't know about Greenstone belts, uh, you know, they, they hold uh, uh, often quite uh, economic uh, mineral deposits. Uh, and, you know, in that area right now, you've got a couple of uh, neighbors who are, have got fairly good projects. One is Yamana, uh, which has Monument Bay and then the uh, Newmont's Mussel uh, white mine, uh, which produces about 200,000 ounces of gold. So I think you've got the right address up there. What are your thoughts on that? Most definitely. It's, it's as I said, it's, it's most favorable country for finding large scale, high grade gold deposition. And that's certainly what we have, what we're growing and what we're looking to find more of. Sure. And uh, what, what do you foresee uh, for news releases over the next uh, couple of weeks uh, for investors? Uh, you, you mentioned you're doing the drilling. Uh, what is your turnaround time these days for drill results? Uh, we're, I think we're beating the average. Uh, we're down <laughs> to probably three weeks thereabouts, um, you know, uh, down from uh, a four to six week at least, you know. Uh, so I think we're doing quite well on that front. Uh, I did mention earlier, it, you know, I, I stay focused on, on risk and keeping our risk profile low. So it's a big reason why we own both of our, our rigs. We have our own crews and have our own consumables that Consumables alone for drilling have a four to six month delay now with uh, the supply chain challenges that are out there. So uh, de-risking is a big part of our, our uh, profile for sure. And, uh, you know, moving forward with that, it's, it's something that's generating value for us and allowing us to just put our heads down and, and drill 24 uh, seven, you know, uh, snow, no snow, <laughs> whatever, all year round uh, to deliver these values quickly. Well, well, thanks for the update. I appreciate your time. Uh, today, I was talking with Robert Vallis, who is the CEO of Signature Resources. Uh, the ticker symbol is SGU on the TSX Venture Exchange. Thanks for your time today, Robert. Thank you, Chris.